We are back with a special honor, Men's Health Search for the Ultimate Guy. I think this is so cool. So this year, thousands of men shared their stories, and the contest has now been narrowed down to three finalists, all real guys doing remarkable things. Richard Dorman is the editor-in-chief of Men's Health and is here to introduce us to these incredible guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It is, Good morning. This is an especially great time to be here. We're really excited. Yeah. What qualifies you to be this person? Mm. So at Men's Health, we spent a lot of time exploring about how guys today are better at being guys, at being better partners and parents and friends, as well as fuller and, and more authentic versions of themselves than ever before. Mm -hmm. So with the Ultimate Men's Health Guys Search, we went looking for guys who uh, epitomized um, that very real progress, but also values like hard work, integrity, humility, and the belief that each of us can do a little bit better with our lives every single day. Oh my goodness, thousands of readers, more than that, were like, oh, I know this guy, I know that guy, and you narrowed it down to three. Can it you was tell really us about these? Yeah, it was it was, a, it was a hard um, process, but we have three amazing guys, all of whom appear in our January, February issue. Um, first up is Felipe Piranio. Okay. He was a Colorado-based world-class rock climber who suffered a, a devastating near-fatal fall um, only to climb back up get back on the mountain and is now leading a life of adventure and also environmental advocacy. Okay. Um, he's done remarkable things um, out of Colorado um, and he's, you know, really, you know, rebuilding his body and his mm. mind. Mm. And then Corin? Cohen Collier, oh, is, Cohen. Is, he's a, uh, someone who was served in the Iraq war and was gravely wounded. He then spent years rebuilding his body and his mind. Mm. Um, and now he's dedicated himself to a different kind of service by being a high school teacher, a track coach, and a father of three awesome boys. Wow. I love that. And then Brad. Dr. Brad Schaefer, a New York-based podiatrist and reality TV star. He's on oh, okay. TLC's My Feet Are Killing Me. Um, <laughs> he's someone who's using his platform to advocate and fight for LGBTQ issues. Um, he's really become a leader in this space, and we're so proud that we could feature him. And we have one of the finalists here uh, on the show this morning who we're going to meet, uh, Cohen Collier. Yeah. Is, is he is here? coming is he out. Here? Right. He's here. One of the finalists. Hey. Hi. Hey. Good morning. 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 This has to be exciting to, to be one of the finalists. I mean, since oh. you sustained your injuries in Iraq in, in 2009, you have, like, just really come back mentally, physically. How, how would you say your life has changed? Um, my life changed basically. But, um, I get to do what I really love to do. And um, as far as being an educator now, I love being a soldier. I love serving and doing the things that I did prior to this. But now I feel like my life is in a different direction where I can actually be the person that I wanted to be growing up as far as creating change for other people. And so now I'm just happy being a teacher for the last 10 years, being a coach and just being able to see kids reach their potential. Fantastic. I'm curious what you like most about teaching. Mm. Um, I always tell people that teaching is the same thing like the, uh, being in the military. You don't know what to expect every day um, as far as different emotions, different things you deal with kids and things yeah. like that. I just, I love working with kids. Mm -hmm. And I think because I had great teachers and great coaches growing up, they kind of pushed me to excel. Mm -hmm. And so that's what made me happy to um, kind of step into this role. And I also teach at the same high school I graduated from. Oh, awesome. that's cool. That's, so, that's really yeah, cool. So that's really cool. It's a different type of connection because I grew up in that neighborhood. And so that's now, awesome. Well, let's see how folks at home Guess are what? react to this. It's you! <laughs> you got a smile. Congratulations! How does that feel? That's amazing. Um, it, it, um, definitely, they kept this under wrap. Um, <laughs> I know you thought you were a finalist, but we wanted I, to have I you. I mean, I knew I was a finalist. Look at this man right that's here. That's you. Um, so, I'm actually shocked. <laughs> but I'm also grateful for this opportunity. There's so many people like uh, my wife, Aisha, my my three sons, Malachi, Cohen, Junior, and Aaron. Also, my parents. Um, Absolutely. My mom and my dad, my older brother and my little sister, and basically everybody at Maple High, High School. Like, oh, that's I'm awesome. Like, Trust me, they're going nuts right now. <laughs> Wait, Rich, let, let me bring you in here. You know, out of the thousands and thousands of folks, what was it about him that said, you know what, he needs to be on the cover of Men's Health? So, you know, he says something to his students that resonated so deeply with me, which is you got one body, one mind, and one lifetime. Hmm. And what you do with the first two influences the last. Mm. And that is pretty much everything that we're trying to do at Men's Health every single day, trying to get people to push themselves mentally and physically so that they can be the best version of themselves. And there is nobody that we talk to across America who better exemplifies that than this guy right here. Cry. And he's not afraid to cry. Look at the tears <laughs> welling up. Yeah, <laughs> Real men yeah. cry. So yeah. just very briefly, 
for there are guys at home who are watching this or spouses or girlfriends or, or partners and they're saying how do you allow yourself to just get in touch with who you are and not just try to be superman all the time um me just being a father and growing up um I always realized that we always tell men to kind of suppress their emotions and things like that. And and I used to do that, especially being in the military. And it wasn't until I started getting counseling and things like that, I, and I started mm -hmm. going to therapy, and I realized that it's okay to have emotions, it's okay to, to be vulnerable. And I kind of try to teach that to a lot of my male students, especially being a high school teacher. You yeah. see so many young men who keep things bottled up, and then it ends up in the, going in the wrong direction. Right. Mm -hmm. And so I... Try to advocate for people, like, especially with men, to kind of, like, be in touch with yourself. It's okay to cry. It's okay to be emotional. Mm -hmm. You know, just, you, once, like I said, if you keep that stuff inside, it, right. it ends up hurting you more than it does anybody so else. Right. right, and that's what I, I had to learn, too, that it's okay to lean on yeah. other people for help. And so that's what I really push to with my own sons and with my students. Awesome. Well, congrats. Let me see that cover again. Hold that cover yeah. up. Right. There he is. Sign some autographs today. Rich, I know. We're feeling like you picked the right guy. Rich, so this was so congratulations. Good. So Thank you. And Men's Health is on stands right. Uh, well, December twenty seventh. That's a right? big yeah. deal. Yeah. Put that in the frame. Go buy a bunch of copies. All together. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at eleven a.m. Eastern, eight Pacific, on our streaming channel. Today, all day. To watch, head to today.com/slash/all day or. Click the link right here.